welcome to History with Master Squishies. Today's video will be covering the history of the Type 95 Hago, we'll be going over who made it, the design, what nations used it, some of the battles it took place in, and how it performs in-game. The Type 95 Hago was a light tank designed for use in mechanized infantry units. It was designed in 1933 and 1934. It was produced by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries in 1936 to 1943, with parts coming from various other companies. Around 2,300 tanks were produced, which made it the most numerous produced armored fighting vehicle for Japan. It was made to replace the Type 98, Type 92, and the Type 94 within the mechanized infantry units due to new requirements in speed, armor, and armament. Tomi Ohara, who was part of the Army Technical Bureau, proposed the Type 95. There was a total of seven variants made and three prototypes that didn't make it to production. One of its key features was its bell crank scissor suspension, which became the standard for Japanese tanks, but during early development had issues pitching on rough ground. The Type 95 Hago was equipped with a single turret mounted with a Type 94 37mm tank gun and two 7.7 .7 Type 97 machine guns. It had a maximum of 12mm of armor and had a minimum of 6mm of armor. It had a crew of three, a weight of 7.4 tons, a length of 4.38 meters or 14.4 feet, a width of 2.06 meters or 6.9 feet and a height of 2.13 meters or 7 feet. It also had a top speed of 28 miles per hour. Next we'll move to the operational history. The Type 95 Hago was used primarily by Japan but it was also used by the Kingdom of Thailand and Mankuko. It was also captured and used by the Republic of China, People's Republic of China, and the French Fourth Republic. It took place in many battles, such as the Battles of Kulkangol in 1939, the Malaya, Burma, and Philippine Battles in 1941 to 1942, Operation Cottage in 1943, the Battle of Milne Bay, the Battle of Guadalcanal, the Battle of Biak, the Battle of Tarawa, the Battle of Guam, the Battle of Okinawa, the Soviet invasion of Manchuria, and the Battle of Shumshu, to list a few. In combat against the Soviets, the Japanese proved to be successful for the early parts of the conflict in 1939. But by late 1939, the Soviets outnumbered and outarmored the Japanese. To quote a Japanese tank commander after facing off against BT-5s and BT-7s, quote, No sooner did we see the flash, than there would be a hole in our tank, and the Soviets were good shots too, end quote. Against the Americans during the first clash of Japanese and American armor in the Philippines, during an American retreat to Bataan, the lead M3 light tank was destroyed, and with the four remaining M3 light tanks suffering hits. At the Battle of Milne Bay, only two Type 95s were deployed against the Australians with some success. Eventually, one was knocked out by a boy's AT rifle, and the second one was abandoned a few days after landing from being bogged down and the weather. Towards 1943 and 44, Japan suffered heavy losses in the armored divisions to M4 Shermans, M1 Bazookas, the lack of materials, parts, and production. Finally, we'll move to how it performs in War Thunder versus its historical performance. In game, the Type 95 Hago is nearly perfect compared to its real-life counterpart. The armor is right with the maximum being 12 mm, but the minimum is wrong with it being 10 mm. The speed is 29 miles per hour, which is 1 mile per hour higher than its real-life counterpart. The weight is 7.7 .7 tons, which is 0.3 tons higher than real life. The main gun is right with it being a Type 94 37mm tank gun. And the machine gun is also right with it being a 7.7 .7 Type 97 machine gun. The ammo used in the Type 95 is the Type 94 APHE ammo, which is wrong. 
It should be equipped with the Type 94 AP ammo and the Type 94 HE ammo. The Type 94 AP HE ammo was used with the Type 94 37mm anti-tank gun, which was developed later than the Type 94 tank gun, which was used on the Type 95 Hago for infantry support. All in all, the Type 95 Hago is well represented. However, I would like to close with one change that I would make. I would change the ammo so you would have an option of AP ammo or HE ammo, similar to the early American, British, and French tanks in the same rank. With all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, squish that like button, subscribe, and let me know what you want to hear about next. I'll see you in the next one.